um, what we are basically getting into it, we are offering this the sports federations mainly, mm. even though it's useful or would be useful for any other sports organization as well. We are sure. focusing mainly on the sports federations. Yeah. Uh, we are doing uh, offering the possibility of uh, incorporating the blockchain technology by uh, creating a token for mm -hmm. the for the sport uh, governing body, which of course will be available for the entire sport community. Okay, right. Uh, and the most important thing is which utilities this token would have around it. Okay, it's mm. not only a matter of acquiring and then selling, it's not just a trading thing, of course, right. that you have that possibility, because right. that's that's the first thing we need always to be clear about. It's not it's not speculation. It's, this is not a, 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 a cryptocurrency, uh, you know, a trading business. Yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 uh, yeah. This is a sport business and we see a big opportunity for creating tokens uh, on sport governing bodies belonging to sport governing bodies and involving communities around mm -hmm. it and right. and we are focusing again i cannot disclose everything what we are going to oh, be of course, uh, of course building around it so far but we are going to be uh, working very hard on that part of uh, the utilities and the functionalities that this tokenization of the federations are gonna be given to the sport community which we believe hardly believe that it's everything it's what it it makes it worth right it makes it right. uh, sustainable again mm -hmm. for the future